Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today we get a 2024 Hyundai Palisade. Um, has 969 kilometers. Um, customer complained about check engine light. And I saw this car um, from the other techs. They're trying to diagnose this issue. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same code. I'm just scanning for codes right now. Um, as per the work order here, um, it's saying the trouble code was a lost communication with generator control module it's a u012 d00 um, also there's a history here that it went to another hyundai dealer they said they replaced the bms i'm not sure what's with the bms maybe that's the battery but usually we use the term bms if it's a hybrid this vehicle is not a hybrid so anyway and then and also that other dealer is recommending an alternator but there's no part available so the co the customer drove back that's from a long long drive came back to toronto in our area and he's saying that our battery light is on as like this one here but this one is in ignition on so that's okay um but the battery light came on and then after that the check engine light came on right so we're gonna check what's this um code if it's the same code that they're trying to fix this now it's handed to me okay so u012d00 lost communication with generator control module now um, let's just go here. Let's just read this code here quickly. What is it looking for? And if it's a communication issue, it's either there's no communication between, if I'm not mistaken, the alternator and the computer. So, but let's see here what is it looking for before we try to diagnose this issue. Should be in U. U zero two D. U zero one two last communication with general control module. Generator control module. So okay. So it says here poor connection. Faulty link communication between ECM and alternator. Okay, so it's between the alternator and the ECM. Okay. So it's just showing here all the alternator datas. You can do that. Um, does it have a wiring diagram? Let's see the wiring diagram. Because we can always go straight now to the wiring diagram and see. Okay, so DC DC is converter, ECM. Okay, so one power connector. That's from the battery going to the alternator. That's the big cable. And there's one connection that's for a LIN. And that's going to our ECM. Now we can try to see here. Let's this let's see if we can um, just go check really quick this guy. Component location. If I can just access it right away. Okay, so I can okay. So maybe we can access it. Okay, um, let's try the other. Okay, what's this EB11? Location, what is this big connector? This is a big connector. That's, okay, that's underneath there. That's on your left side, headlight underneath. That's this picture here that's the air box is removed so um, yeah so this is very straightforward we just have to see if we have communication a link communication and if you can see that um, and also um, I think the previous text here I guess they check the charging voltage we can go there let's go to data Um, 
battery voltage okay and alternator let's go to our alternator alternator that's battery I decide alternator but let's just check that graph start this okay we're running right now at 12 volts no warning lights yet there in the cluster so I'm gonna apply some load here turn our headlights high beams um, our blower motor so we can see the changes in our voltage here see there it's running right now 13.6 volts right okay so let me just turn that off now I'm gonna go under the hood and check that lean communication if that's present or not okay so our alternator is under there um, there's gonna be a white wire there that's connected to our alternator I guess this is our EB11 before it goes to our ECM right uh, I don't know what's all this wire that's disconnected but I can't unless I'm gonna it's okay it's not a little bit hot okay I'm gonna try to back probe that part there and let's see if we can see some signals on this one okay so I did my connection there right now I just use our uh, long nose there so my other connection my scope is on the negative cable or negative battery that's your drum um, and also I use a picoscope because I haven't used it for a while but as you've seen my videos other videos that I use a, a small scope the you call that U scope you can still use that but right now we got our voltage reading right now is at 12 volts right now so that's ignition off so I'm gonna do ignition on right now Okay, so right now ignition on. Uh, I can see right now that we have some communication. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah. There's different types of data packets there, right? But we're having a communication, and that's from. 11 to 1 volt so looks like that's good um, that's from the alternator side I wonder if it's the same signal that we're getting going to our computer right um, so let me hook up another um, channel and hook up on our computer so I'm gonna be hooking up on our pin 69 here so that's the guy here and then let's see if it's the same signal that we're having from the alternator right um, from the ECM okay so let me just turn on our channel B the red one so this is uh, connection from our PCM right uh, okay so they're the same voltage at 12 
Okay. So I just remove our cover here. I use a pierce probe, right? And we're just gonna cover it up later. So I'm gonna do ignition on. Okay. So ignition on right now. And we still have the same. I wonder if we're gonna start this vehicle. Okay, let me start this vehicle. Okay, right now we're running. Um, so I don't know what's going on with this vehicle. Yes, right now we have communication here. Blue is from our alternator. This one is going to our ECM. I wonder if I'm gonna put some load on this one and see if there's some changes. Let me adjust this time here. It's too fast. Um, let me put the trigger here. Real quick. Okay, so let's turn on some loads here. Okay, I just did turn on some load here right now. I wonder if I'm gonna try to move this EB11, the one here at the bottom he's saying, he's saying that last communication So right now I'm wiggling the harness that's coming out from the alternator. Let's see if it's making a difference. question there is, is it, is this data here, because it looks like they're all the same, see that, the spacing on this one, well it, it, it changes so that's okay then, that's good, see there, there's a, big 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 small and then we went to the other side now that's big small big small big 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 small and now big small big small
what communication um, signals right now we have is very nice. Unless I did something wrong when I back probe the alternator side because there's a chance that that one was not plugged in correctly let me grab my multimeter and see what we have right now so I'm just measuring battery pulse right now 13.8 volts let me turn on all the loads ok so I turn on our heated seats and rear defogger I just dropped to 13.7 I wonder what's our state of charge in this guy So here's our data right now. Um, battery voltage is 13.7. Um, desired alternator is 64.7. So 60% is turning it on. Why is it? Because um, even though we turn on all our loads, because our state of charge is 89%. State of health is 100%. So if the state of charge, state of health is still okay, it's not really going. Uh, full force on charging the battery, right? So So yeah, I don't know what's going on this one. We have good communication Okay, let me try clearing the code and see if that will trigger something And we got our code, history code, so... I just went to our engine side, it says there are no DTCs. Um, I think I, I have, I think I made something work. Okay, let, I'm gonna do a fault searching code right now again, all the system. So I, I'm not sure if it was from the engine side that we get the history code or not. But usually if there's a code, a history code, we didn't clear it and we're trying to do some testing and it fix it like it clears by itself usually in my opinion like we just fix something but I'm not sure which uh, module was that that's um, saying that there's a communication error for alternator um, but yeah let me go through with this one first and see okay so the full system scan is done as you can see there there's no history or pending codes and earlier when we scan it, um, I'm gonna, what I call that, um, review my 
previous video on this one that it was in history but I'm not sure I think it was from engine for sure um, I think the only thing I touched was the harnesses like the harness are here EB11 and this guy here this harness it's loop and that's coming from our alternator so I wonder or when I back probe this guy here at the alternator connector this guy maybe I fix something there right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug that the blue one and let's monitor again our so blue one is none normal blue one let me turn that off first okay so we're just looking at the red that is the signal from the PCM right so let me start it again Okay, so let's go to our data again and see what we have here. Right now my multimeter is reading reading 12.58 volts at the battery post. And our communication is still there. It's from alternator going into the PCM. Looks like that's good. battery voltage let's see our AMS what we have here state of charge 87% desired alternator it's showing here 31 per 31% so it's not really turning it on so I'm gonna put some load and see Okay, so I turn on our load, it, it adjusted now, our desired alternator voltage, duty cycle, 63%, my voltage, the same thing on the battery post, 13.73, and our current data is 13.7, so let me see here if something changes. Looks like my data is good. And as you can see there, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Not so much. Okay. Okay, so um, I don't know what's really going on this one. It's either I fix it by back probing it. <laughs> um, 
I guess what I'm gonna do is since we have a communication as you can see there our lean communication is good um, I'm gonna ask them to drive this before we release it to the customer and let's see if that communication will be there or the code will be there because you know, it's either I accidentally fixed the issue by back probing it because this is the only thing I did other than moving the harnesses right and we clearly see earlier when we were, did our first full system scan that we got a history code but right now that history code is gone and I didn't delete the code when we did earlier so um, I'm gonna update you guys after this after they do a like, intensive test drive and then let's see if um, we're still gonna get that issue